But we are going into women's final here. The podiums. Oh, here we go. Looks like Jenna Gibson's right on the start in this one. And that's what she's been wanting to do. See if it's a good start. But Justine Lemetier looking good as well. But Gibson is right up there in the start. I don't think we're going to see her go over the obstacle in this one. How much will it count against her? A little bit of spin out there by the looks of it. And that's uh, put her back in the pack. But she managed to get it under control. But look who is out in front. Yes, it is. It's Sarah Keita off Ringer looking to make a clean sweep. But Justine Lemetier is not giving up. She wants a win. Look at the French girl. She does not back down. And we love that about her. Absolutely gunning into this uh, first mark after the speed run. And they are going round together. Sarah Keita off Ringer jibing to the inside. Lemetier got a better jibe there. But both riders neck and neck as we go towards the obstacle. What are the rest of the women going to choose? It looks like uh, Marion Mordefont is choosing a different line. No, they're going for the obstacle. It does look like they're all going for it. Love to see it. You've got to risk it for a chocolate biscuit. That's for sure. The risk reward. Oh, Sarah Keita nosedives. That's how choppy it is out there. Sarah Keita, both of the riders making it over. What a race this is. Jenna Gibson needs to make it over. Does. Spins out a little bit, but Gibson's in the race. Mortifon's in the race. There is mo podiums up for grabs right now as Sarah Keita has got uh, a fight on her hands here in this penultimate elimination. Elimination number nine, Sarah Keita leading. Second place, Lemetier. Then Marion Mortifon in third. Jenna Gibson in fourth place now. Neck and neck stuff this. Great racing in the women's fleet. Lemetier has not given up, but she's going to need a mistake from the leader at the moment, Sarah Keita Offringer. Does she make mistakes? Maybe she will under pressure. It's a different ball game when you're being pressed hard around the jibe marks. She got pressed by Jenna Gibson and came out on top. Justine Lemetier trying to push the Aruban into a mistake as we come into the penultimate jibe mark. Sarah Keita round in first place. Oh, Justine, bit of speed coming into that jibe. Can she make it count? It's a great jibe from the French woman, Mortifon. Maybe not giving up on that podium as well. They know how much this means in the overalls as well as the event. The drone's getting nice and close there. But Sarah Keita is looking like putting another first place on the score sheet. One jibe mark to go. Le Metier trying to cement that second place here in Fuerteventura. Could that give her second place in the overalls? I think it might do. I really do. We'll do the maths after this elimination. Sarah Keita, no mistakes, rounding first. Le Metier, another faultless course from Le Metier. Absolutely killing it right now in the Slalom X. Marion Mortifon, a great race from her in third place. Jenna Gibson hot on her heels now, though. We know how fast Jenna Gibson is on the way in. And this could prove decisive for that third place. But there is a big gap between Mortifon and Gibson. But at the front, this is it. This is the world title. Well, this is the event title. This is the world title. This is everything. Sarah Keita off Ringer will cross the line one more time in first place. Wrap up that world title. How much? She must have an extra room for all the world titles she's got. Event titles. Absolutely domination. Uh, Le Metier in second place. And that looks like she might wrap up that second place. Gibson in fourth. Couldn't get back into it. And we will be doing some maths very soon. Just what I like to do. Bit of maths. Let's have a look at this women's slalom X. We'll have a look at the recap from that race. Le Metier's definitely got second wrapped up. Can't see it going anywhere else. Marion Mortifon. It really looks like... Well, it might be Jenna Gibson in third place. I'd like to get confirmation from our... If it finishes like this, Le Metier in second, Marion Mortifon third, Jenna Gibson in fourth, will that be... Sarah, Sarah Keita wins the overall. We're talking about overall championships here. I think it means Justine Le Metier will finish second. She will still be level on points with Jenna Gibson, Marion Mortifon and Jenna Gibson. And it's who's beats who the most times. So we really do have to get our calculators out and start working it out. 
as we look through the recap of that race. Did really well to get back on it there. Justine giving her a real good figure in. Now, really pushing hard. Okay, we have got an interview with Sarah Keita on the beat. So as we watch the recap, we'll go down to Sarah Keita. Sarah Keita, 24 times world champion. Nice, nice, nice. I'm tying Antoine Albo today. I like it. Uh, yeah, when I woke up this morning, I was pretty nervous for the day because I won it so badly. And um, yeah, I managed to stay focused and it's like a dream week this week. So it's amazing. It's unbelievable. What's given you the edge? I don't know. <laughs> I still need to like think about it, but I think I was very, very concentrated and motivated for the win. I took some, I mean, I won the event in Poso, but there were some things I needed to work on and I felt like I took that with me for this event and improved on that. So, yeah. There's one more race. Are you going to go for the bullet? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> of course, I'm doing, doing my best. It's been amazing to watch. It's been a dream. Congratulations. Thank and you. Yeah, well done. Woo! <laughs> Impressive stuff. Sarah Keita offering another world title, like she says, uh, equaling Antoine Albo. I mean, that's massive. That is absolutely massive. Still a long way to go for Bjorn, but... Um, if you start entering the speed events, maybe, you never know. She's definitely got the skills and, and she could come in now. She doesn't need to do the next race. Is she doing it? Of course she is.